everyone. Nice to meet you. My name is Kim Mi Kyung, and I'm a Korean artist. I do my work through photography, which I major in an university. I work as a photographer for a publishing company and a broadcasting station. And I also give lectures at university and photography academies. Let me show you some of my work. First, here are some works from my exhibition. It shows a very standard image of modern woman. And here is the second one. I express the world I dream of when I was young. As with the first one, I took the pictures by setting on the object in the water. And here is the third project that I've worked on recently. It shows Jeju Sea and the South Coast Beauty. As you can see, my recent work have taken place around the theme of nature. The same goes for most of my ideas is the tank collection project. Let me scan my tank project to partner. Hello, my name is Kenichiro Tomiyas, and I work at INE Studio in Japan. I'm concept artist for movies, games, and commercials. Concept art is visualizing the concept of the work itself as the beginning of the project. Producing an image by showing the world which doesn't exist in reality. Yo, and I'd like to show you some of my works. This is concept art for the game Assault Wars. It was very challenging, but I enjoyed it. In this picture, I try to express the very strong and unique concept overall by not just blending sci-fi and Buddhism with silhouettes and design but with color and writing also. If you see this image and feel the world of the game, my work is successful. This is a concept art for a movie called Resident Evil Domination. I try to make it creepy by the writing and the atmosphere in the warehouse and I designed the apparatus inspired by the shape of hornet nest. I try to think what I can make people think it is dangerous at first sight and try to show that approach. I wanted to make this something that you can hear sound or music by looking at it. I usually work in a different way but I decided to join Ten Workshop because I thought it could inspire me by expressing something totally new. So now, let's go. When I was given the theme feature, I asked myself, what is the ideal world that I want? I found my answer in nature, a world filled with nothing but happiness with no greed human, the no pain and no worries like utopia paradise. So I proposed can this idea of future in nature. Mikyung idea was simply interesting. The world that I imagined for my work usually is, for example, robot walking around, or nice battling with magic dragon. Our world were completely different. So I sought a new creation, a little bit different from my ordinary work will be born and it excited me a lot. We had totally different styles, so I decided to set the studio to bring the paradise in natural into the studio. I made a big tree full of fruit and then surrounded it with a beautiful forest. Some things that you could find in a fairy tales and I showed it 
to tend to make him inspired. For the studio setting, I try to use real live material as much as possible to make it more realistic. So the tree leaves and the fruits were the only artificial materials that I used and the rest were all real plants. As I had to keep them alive until I finished all my work, I had to water the plants every day. Watering also helped in making the light reflect, so I could avoid photos with too much flat light. I use a Pentax 645D for the tank collection work. A medium format digital SLR camera because it has a high definition and I really like how this camera captures the green color. I usually go with wide angle lenses and a 90mm macro lens. Wide angle lenses are good for outdoor shooting and macro ones are good for studio skin. I used very limited lighting for my studio shoot. I put some small lights in the tree for several reasons behind. It is very easy to shoot with your flashy lighting. However, photos can be very artificial. It would have too much contrast and the shadow would have been too sharp. I also wanted a soft light atmosphere with a soft light shadows and a weak contrast like you usually have during the night. In all case, the flash would have been too strong compared to light in the tree. The weak light coming from the tree involves a long exposed time and so a stable trap is a must-have. The remote control is a cause and a sentinel in avoiding blurring so as to get clear photos. With a long expose, the exposure time was between 15 to 30 seconds. I also put a continuous 600 watt light to simulate an extended source of light. I often work with your sound designer as a part of a creative process. It helped me a lot to complete my ideas by making me even more inspired. So I invite Ken to share this experience, it allowed us to see the project in a different perspective. It was a great opportunity to see sound and designing because I have been interested in integrating sound into my works, and I think it's a wonderful way to express our work. After that, we saw. That it would be nice to make the image look more real. So we decided to take some photos of nature. And I thought that my hometown Jeju would be perfect for this photo shot. Shooting in Jeju Island was pretty simple. I only had to focus on the material we wanted to integrate in the creation and let the natural inspire me. To capture this mystery feel in the portal, I made the best use of the natural light coming through the forest using backlight was better than Rembrandt light. 
in capture the feeling of mystery in the portrait. When you shoot the valley, it is very important to capture the form of it and this fast detail of each word. The valley could be seen differently depending on the natural light of the day. And so I tried to closely observe when was the best moment to capture the focus with the right field. I sent Ken my photos from Jeju Island so that he could finalize our work. I brought Minyoung's photo into Photoshop and started drawing. I searched the photos matched to this project by using digital asset management software such as Adobe Bridge and imported them into Photoshop by drag and drop. I didn't have any difficulties to select photos this time since Minyoung has many photos of beautiful trees. I went to Photoria website and looked for photos of skies and scapes. It's good to use such filters of the site to find photos that are closer to the image in my mind. I use keywords such as photo, high resolution, and sky this time. There are various kinds of landscape images, but I like to use the texture of rocky and rugged mountain in the distance, flowers, jungles, vegetation, and sunset. To express the delicate gradation, I used a gradient tool and applied a big gradation to the whole screen. When I draw an image, I consider that the delicate gradation is extremely important. In Japanese, we call it INA, which I use it for my company name. When you use a computer to draw an image, it happens to use the same color for objects next to each other. In reality, with color, even with flat balls next to each other, they can be the same color. Imagine using the eyedropper tool to check the RGB value on physical object. It wouldn't be possible to have the same value. You have to keep it in mind. When you create an image on computer graphics, there is always a delicate gradation even for connected sides, which looks the same. To express the depth of field, I use aerial perspective. Creating an image can be making space into two dimensions, but it's the most important thing to create space two dimensionally at that time. Aerial perspective has a rule that brightness difference becomes less prominent if you go far, and we follow that rule. It also has a characteristic that blue color can look further away and warm color can look closer. I think it's related to the atmosphere of the Earth. It's very important to make brightness balance at the beginning. When you start drawing, it is said that human eyes most likely see things with brightness balance. When you create an image, we should consider this characteristic and compose, so we have to see the whole screen. I overviewed the image and adjusted the black and white balance. Of course, you don't have to use black and white, however you always have to keep the brightness balance in mind regarding any color you use. The very last step is to add highlights and details. Highlights means very shiny areas which break down the balance of light and dark of surrounding. Highlights are created very minimally in many cases. These small, strong lights can be the point on the atmosphere in the entire image and can control the whole texture. It's very small area to paint, but I created the detail with full attention. In Photoshop, 
I used a very tiny brush with a few pixels and drew carefully. It was very cool to be part of 10 collection. And I think the best part of this project was definitely Korean barbecue. Mm. I enjoyed myself a lot working for 10 projects. And I hope you enjoyed our work too. 여러분 안녕! 여러분!